Hi everyone, this is my second attempt at filming my Halloween journal that I'm going to title uh, Halloween in July. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I apologize in advance for, uh, for the first one that I posted because apparently either there was something wrong with my film editing software or something, but it, it ended up eating like part of the video. So part of the video that I originally um, posted was blank. So yay, there's that. So anyway, <laughs> here I am back and I'm going to attempt to film this once again. So this this is my, my journal. She is a fatty patty. She has five signatures. And let me fix her because she's so fat. Five signatures. She has some little dangly bits here. Um, let's see, we've got skull and spiders and bats and witches and pumpkins and a skeleton hand and skeletons and all kind of good stuff. So that's that's on the side. And uh, I have really, I have really made her fat. <laughs> anyway, you open her up and I'm now going to have glitter everywhere. And uh, she has a book plate here and she has a shaker pocket for for her cover and that's on top of uh, these bats. This is a, a printed in the background is glow in the dark paper with some bats printed on it. I don't know if you can see it, but there are the bats and see the shaker pocket there. So there's that. We open her up and I let's get all this out of the way here. That's too much stuff on my desk. I have um, made a pocket here and I put some um, just some little this is uh, dried flowers uh, girl a little girl in a mask it's just a little journaling card and there's a wax seal black wax seal with uh, a little golden bat on there so there's that there's a witch with some yellow flowers and a witch um, black wax seal I just, I just thought the black wax was kind of a Halloween-y, kind of cool kind of vibe to it. And here's some children in costumes, and here is their um, little spider web with a little pink dried flower. And I'm not sure if you can see on here, but there are some little glittery black bats on the pocket. So let's have a walk through and see what we can find in this journal. On the first page, I have uh, some bats, and here is a piece of fabric that I um, hand stamped with permanent ink. So there's that. You open it up, and here is some bat paper, <laughs> always good, and some Halloween type paper. This is some red vellum that my sister Jennifer gave me. Thank you, Jennifer. And uh, this is a vampire. And in each of these sections, I tried to add something kind of Halloween-y. So you'll see, um, I think the first section is, it's kind of campy in between. But there's a vampire section, a witch section, a werewolf section, and a Frankenstein section. So that's what I went for. Here is, the, these are some bats. Some kind of gothic colored wallpaper. <laughs> Esque wallpaper esque, it's not real wallpaper. Um, there are some printables in here that I um, obtained from Etsy. I don't know the artist name, so I apologize for that in advance. But if you go on Etsy and you type in vampires or witches or werewolves or Frankenstein, you'll you'll see um, these printables that I used here. Here's a vampire. I just thought she was awesome. I've got some little, like I said, I added some little campy elements in here. So you, this is a pumpkin pocket. Here I have, um, these are just little cut out paper dolls. But I like them because they had um, costumes. And I thought the, you know, the costumes were kind of a Halloween type of vibe to them. So I added them in here. And then this says Ghost Garland, and then here are some more pockets. You have um, some more little Halloween type of cards. Got some little fuzzies from our trimmed earlier. Um, there's some more little cards. Let's 
paper clip there. Open it up. This is um, a page from a children's book, and it's about monsters. Here's a little bat and some just some washi tape, homemade washi tape. And then I have this clip to it. This is just a collaged um, journaling card that I made, and I sewed all around it, so it's all sewed in. And then it's just kept here by a little embellished paper clip. Nothing fancy there. And then there's a, an angel. Some fun bat paper. Um, it says, give these vampire bats their wings. Then you open it up and, well, what do you know? There's some vampire bats. I think this was part of a of some garland, some Halloween garland. And I just thought that would be cool. And so I added a brad and put them in here. And then on this side, there's some tickets that you can play with. And got those in there. I've got some little, some more little doodads, some little papers that you can write on in the pockets. Then I stamped around with uh, some purple. This is a um, Halloween pumpkin, kind of a frightful one. And then here is a little, I can get it out. This is a little, uh, black cat pocket and I added this this is different from the video I had up before but this is just a little um, wax seal black wax seal that says happy Halloween it has a feather attached to it you open it up and in here is my favorite the little teeny weeny tiny little notebook so it has lots of little doodads in here just little uh, Halloween scenes that I thought were cute, and of course you can write on the other side of them. But there's loads of little Halloween themed pieces of paper. I just think they're kind of cool, and they're cardstock, so they're a little sturdy. So you can write, you know, your favorite bat's name or um, your favorite witch's party that you're supposed to attend this Halloween, whatever, in your teeny tiny little notebook. So that's in here with the little wax, little wax seal. And let's see, let's go through this. And here is the beginning of the vampire paper. And what I did was I took the printable and I just printed it on tea dyed paper. So it kind of gives it a little, kind of gives a little crinkly sound to it. I just like, I like the colors in it too. I think that looks nice. And then there's a bit of a bandage on here. I don't know if you can see it. A little tea dyed bandage or gauze, whatever, whatever the fancy name is, that's what that is. Tell it to your mummy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so moving right along. This is Vampire, and this is the lady herself, and I added some more of that gauze or bandage or whatever, and some sequins. This says Bubbling Alien Blood. This is part of a magazine, and just kind of cool. Here's some more paper. Here is, pull this out. And then you have um, Gus hanging out his baby ghost, ghostly washing out in the evening air. I like Gus. I remember those books when I was in school, getting those from the library. Those were kind of cool. You got a cool little black cat on the front. And then here are, um, this is just a batty type of envelope with some stickers in it. And like I said previously, I, I like adding little elements so that whomever receives this journal that they will be able to add their own touches to it. Um, like I said, I add enough of my own touches to it, so I want them to be able to enjoy it a little bit. So you have lots of little stickers here, and I've tried to add lots of little innovative surprises in here so that you can just kind of kick back and enjoy your journal and just, like I said, just add to it. So. Anyway, that's what's in there. We have go bats, just go bats. Um, and there's a bat here with some bat washi tape here, and this is just um, I printed this washi tape on sticker paper and added it. Now I think I added a little glue underneath it just to make sure it stays so they won't come apart. Um, some skeletons. Here's some mad scientists. I like the monster eyes. I think that's kind of cool. 
And then here is a little uh, tissue paper envelope. And in it, these are just little pieces of paper that you can write on, just little scratch. You know, you can write somebody's phone number on there if you meet a really nice ghoul. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At a party. Get their number. Yeah, write it here. So, that's that. That's that. We're going to put it, put it back, hopefully. So that's what's in there. And there's a little postage stamp I added on the front. That's just a little piece of the bandage. It's a thing of skulls here. And open it up. And this is um, supposed to be wallpaper. And there are portraits on the wallpaper. So you have like uh, a monster. You have some uh, trick-or-treaters all dressed up and ready to go. You have a, a ghostly portrait here, and then you have a hellhound with sparkly red eyes. What family portrait would not be complete without the, uh, the family pet? So, then there's some more of that ghoulish wallpaper. <clears throat> and then here's some more bats, and this is a little article about how to make umbrella bats for your children. I thought that was kind of neat. Here's some stickers and just little doodads. This um, opens up. It's a little puzzle piece. I've got it tucked back behind here. You pull it out and open it up. You've got a little place to write. You can write on the paper and then you can write underneath on the puzzle piece. Um, this is a tag and it has a little owl on it. I thought that was cute. And then behind that is just a, a Madame Skeleton with some stamped kitty cats. I'm sure they're not kitty cats, more like alley cats. Okay. And then there's a pumpkin. And then uh, this says, wow, so many spooky things and how right he is. And this says, do I look batty to you? Bat attack. And don't answer that question because I know I look batty. So continue on. There's an owl and a bat. Um, here is sort of an angel of death. I really liked him. I love this graphic. I think it's so cool. And then down here is a coffin advertisement, and I put this on glow-in-the-dark paper so that, you know, it'll scare you when you, you know, head to the bathroom in the middle of the night and your journal pops open. And, you know, you have a glow-in-the-dark hearse there. That, that should, uh, yeah, that should uh, be nice in the middle of the night. So that's kind of cool. I like the glow-in-the-dark paper. Then lift this up, and you have a place to write. It's a Tootsie Pop miniature piece of paper. And underneath that is a witch flying on her broom. And then there's a uh, children's page about monsters and a witch and some sequins on the side, nice and glittery. And you open her up and then you have a little girl um, sitting on some lace trim and it says creepy. There's a sparkly bat there, if you can see it, a sparkly bat. And this says haunted house. And then you have the vampire again and she's got some sparkly bling beside her. Let's see if you can see it. Lots of sparkle here. Oops, I got stuck everywhere. Um, and then, some more bats. I know, shock horror. <laughs> and then this is uh, the other side of that vellum. And I th there are little skulls, I think, printed on this. Little skulls in the background on that vellum. And then this says Death Wish. Uh, I think it came on some packaging that I had. And the Halloween print. And then the bat skin. And this is uh, the same... Um, decoration I used on the front and it's, I think it's a tarot card uh, type of decoration on that and uh, open this up and there's a little uh, just a little doily, black doily and it says Death Wish and it has a cutest little kitty cat there and then here is where the wild things are monster, I think that's cool and here's just a little tag um, it says Fontaine's Golden Wheel Fortune Teller Dream Book. So I guess he's asleep after he read his little dream book. Probably having some Halloween nightmares. And then there's a little witch sticker with some brooms and cats on the back. And a full moon, of course. You must have this full moon, the full sparkly moon. And uh, open this up, and this kind of fans out. And it's just like a pinwheel of doom. Yes, the pinwheel of doom. So, it all kind of fans out, and you can, you can write on any of these on the back, and uh, underneath it is just 
regular Halloween type of paper. Regular Halloween type of paper. And here's a witch. And then there's some witchy washi tape there. And these are laminated um, little, just little cards really. I think it's cardstock, laminated cardstock. And I put those in with a garment pen. And then you have a couple of cards to go in here. And this this is some more of the little garland. I think I got these in like a end of the year sale. And I thought those would make the cutest little pockets. And I really like them. And so I added just a piece of ribbon there with some little circles on it. Fall, fall themed and full moon themed circles. And then here is a piece of um, autumn leaves. Here is uh, just a whole scene of of witches and and warlocks and things. Here is a lady sitting on the full moon with an owl. I like that paper. Here's a, I guess that would be a witch's cauldron or as we like to say a witch's crock pot. So uh, there's that. And here are some witch, witchy herbs. This is the witch portion of the book. And uh, lift it up and tells you a little bit about the herbs on the back. Some more witches. Uh, I use a cupcake liner with some uh, bats and ghosts and pumpkins and then I add the little Jinx card, little cat, that's so cute. And then this is just another little card, it has like a writing implement and then it says Literary Award 10 and it has a really spooky looking skeleton head, skull, I guess it would be a skull. And then um, on the back here is a recipe card from probably the 70s and this is um, a multiplication card with with mice and then here is I think these are gummy worms just little you know places to write to have fun and then here's a witch for their cat and some candles and on this side you pull this out and it says my mama says there aren't any zombies ghosts vampires creatures demons monsters goblins or things and then you open it up and it says mama was wrong mama was wrong because obviously there are all those and more so that goes back there and then over here I've got a little pocket here with um, just some kind of numbers kind of a spooky looking paper there and these are just little puppets I, I just love these things. Like I said, I like to add interactive things in my journal so that, you know, whoever can, can enjoy this. This is a, you can either, you know, stir your coffee, you can, um, I don't know, play with them. You can bop your husband on the nose with them. I mean, whatever t tickles your fancy or just, you know, enjoy them as is in their little home here. So I added those. I thought they were, those were good fun. And then this, my friend Doreen sent me, is just a felt pumpkin that I absolutely adore. I, I think these, this made a really cute pocket. And then I add a little monster. So he's waiting to jump out at you. And just says, boo! So here is some more, um, this is more washi tape. And this, these are, I don't know if you can tell, they're just little, um, like monsters and cats and witches and things. <clears throat> and then... This is a book page, and it's just some tombstones, and then here are some creepy little girls. I like the creepy little girls. I think those are cool. They're just waiting to say hello to you. And then witches, witches. This is, um, I've got stuck in with a little embellished paper clip, but this is junk mail, and uh, I just collaged on the front, and then you can see the the girl peeking out from behind. You open it up and here is um, just a little notebook with some tea dyed paper in it. You can just write in there and that that's a little pocket and there's some little um, there's a pumpkin and witch and on this side there's some doll faces and a skull, skull jawbone I guess. And then you open it up again and it's a little boy um, with his head in a jar. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's good to have on the mantle, right? Little boy with his head in a jar. And then um, just some just some general creepiness that you can just have fun with. 
And then uh, on the back it says, Autumn is finding a purpose for every pumpkin in the patch. So that lives there. And then this is just a little piece of pumpkin paper. Just, just a little a little piece that you can write on. Keep your note there. Maybe make a wish to the great pumpkin. Um, some more writing spaces. This is um, just an epitaph. This has death wish on it. It's just a little ghost. Um, some more witch paper. Places to write. Loads of places to write. Some more witches. How to be a witch, if you're interested. <laughs> See here is another collage. Um, this is a collage uh, journaling card, and it says uh, "Dia de los Muertos." I'm not sure I'm even pronouncing that correctly, so don't shoot me. But anyway, um, it's just, it's just tea, there's just tea dye paper on the back, and I've sewed on it, and you know there are little ghosts and spiders and this little girl in her little Halloween costume. She's all ready to go, ready to go trick or treating. And then I did like a little tiny embellished, um, sorry, get in the frame, a little tiny embellished paper clip with um, a little kitty cat charm on it and some sparkle. Put that there. Some more witches. And then this is a, just a little embellishment with a bat, a cat, and it says boo. And they're in front of the full moon there. Here's a little, I love this little ghost. I think he's so cute. And that's a uh, clothespin on the back. And I think I bought those at the Dollar Tree last year. I just think it's adorable. And then here's a raven, the raven music. Um, and then here is our little ode to Edgar Allan Poe. There's some uh, Edgar Allan Poe uh, tickets. I think I got those from Graphic Fairy. There's a little pocket here. Um, paying our respects to Mr. Poe. And here's some different elements there. And then this says uh, catchinate, which is a verb, which means to laugh loudly. <laughs> the mad scientist began to catchinate after he thought of a brilliant plan to capture the hero. So a synonym would a synonym would be guffaw. So you know, just so you're up on your Halloween vocabulary. Here is another witch card. Yay, witch card. I don't know which card. I, I just can't tell you. And then on this side is just a little pull up. Here's a toe tag in case you need one. In a witch's hat, um, in front of that little pocket, and some little witch writing in the back. I mean, you know witchy after all, right? And uh, put that back. And then here are some, um, these are CD covers that I just kind of uh, collaged and um, I, t I dyed them. Uh, black was supposed to be black, but kind of turned out to be a gray, but it's still kind of creepy looking. And skull and it says boo and then you open it up and here this says if the broom fits. You can turn over and there's some writing space on this. And then that slides back in there. Um, my collage on the back of here. And there is a, a witch and a sugar skull. And then here's another one. Here's another one. And that has like the, the coolest uh, haunted house with ghosts all around. And you can also write on the back of that. Put that back in here. And then open it up and uh, collage some different... Uh, skeleton elements on the back of here and here is uh, a black cat telling you the time is it time to go home is it midnight one never knows but uh, you might want to go home because there are skull and crossbones waiting for you on the other side so that goes in there and then this is madame and monsieur uh, skeleton and there's some embossed metal tape that I bought from the hardware section Let's see if I can pull it up so you can see it. It turned out really cute. I like that. It's kind of cool. And then I uh, also collage in the back of here. And then you turn it over and it says, Rest in peace. Here lies the body of Edward Hyde. We laid him here because he died. How cool is that? And then <laughs> here's that little sparkly owls. And that's just a little piece of um, tape there. 
here is a Wicked Witch. And then you open this up, and it is the Cabinet of Curiosities. There is a crystal ball here, it's nice and sparkly. Open that up, it says Cabinet of Curiosities. Little embellished paper clip with some lace on it. And this has little, little cards to write on the back. And this is just a little trick-or-treat bag with a black cat and some bats on a full moon. Well, part, not really a full moon, more of a crescent moon. This goes there. And then it says more hair-raising locations. And, you know, the creepy dolls, that's always cool. And here is some more stamped fabric. And this is a children's book page. Open it up and there are bats and uh, a deep, dark carnival scene. And then here is another pocket. There's some dolls hanging from a tree. And then these are, I think these are tarot cards. And they're in there. And then here is some spooky lace with a little orange embellishment. And then you open it up and there's another bat. And this says Halloween with bat's wings. A source of superstitious love. On Halloween night I'll fly in your door. So you can write or do whatever you want there. Here's the other side of that trick-or-treat bag. And you have some more little um, things to write on. Witches and all kind of fun stuff. So that's in there. Just a little piece of ribbon there. And then you open this up and it's a little scene. So this is see-through. So you can write all around here if you want. And then this is some glow-in-the-dark paper that I printed a black cat in a witch's house. And then on this side is another piece of that, um, I don't know what you call them, bunting, I guess. Anyway, this is uh, the little doodads that go on there. And then this came from the Dollar Tree, I think, and I just embellished. It's one of those little... Um, I think it goes on like keys or something. Anyway, I just put a pumpkin on it and added a garment pin and put it behind the pumpkin so you have a bunch of pumpkins. And then on this side you have, uh, there's a skeleton. That's another piece of that bunting. And uh, just different little elements there. And then you have this, this spooky skeleton over here. He's so cute. Another piece of that little paper here with the owls on it that's really pretty. I like that a lot. I wish I had more of that. And this is a paper doll. I like her. She's really cool. I guess she's going to take her owl trick-or-treating. And then she goes behind the little pumpkin. And these are just little uh, little stickers, ghosts, witches here. Here's some more of those little sparkly bats. Um, a little ode to Edgar Allan Poe. I love that picture. I think that's brilliant. And then this is um, a china doll, and then Mr. Skeleton makes another makes another appearance, and then you open this up, and you have a wicked witch who's just waiting to invite you in for a cup of tea or an apple. Yes, go have an apple, and she says boo. And I, I think these are probably scarier than the witch, and that's geese. If you've ever been chased by a geese, you'll know what I mean, or goose <laughs> chased by a geese. It's early in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, and in this you open it up and it has a black cat poem. And then I just stamped around it. And then more haunted house. And then a little dark angel. Here is another one of those little um, clothespins with the witch. So I guess she fell on her brew. And then open it up <clears throat> here. And just some more Halloween themed paper some more places to write. Um, this is this is a paper doll um, that you're supposed to cut out, but I thought this was creepy enough to be left. I, I don't like clowns, but I thought that's, that's pretty creepy, so we'll put that in there. And then this is the werewolf side of things, and this is some vellum with some really cool paper that I found on Etsy. This printable, I mean. I printed on vellum, and that turned out really kind of cool. It's got a little bit of a gold sheen to it, which is pretty. And then here is the werewolf paper on tea dye paper, the printable, and I just, I love that. Um, so lots of creepy visuals here. Here is a, I think this is a child's book page with some monsters. 
and uh, the wolf hunter's guy, they're going through the werewolf. I guess he's been kissing all the maidens, and they're, the men of the village aren't happy with that, so they're going after him. There's Peter and the wolf page. Uh, another trick-or-treat bag with some goodies in it. Just some bits and bobs here to go in there. Check it right on. And just a, a little embellished paper clip. I guess that's pre-werewolf. And she's gonna go after gonna go after it. Here's some more of that vellum. Here's the full moon. This is a child's page, a children's story about um, this little bunny who's terrified of this monster carrot. So he's scared. He's with his mother looking for the monster carrot. <laughs> it's pretty pretty funny. I think it's cute. So I added that. And just some colorful, spooky pages here. Halloween-themed stuff. Some more of the bunny page. <laughs> so cute. Here's a strange man with a spider on his head. Some more um, the vellum. Uh, here is a jawbone. And this is a peekaboo card. And uh, you see where you have the witch in the front. And I just kind of added some lace and stuff. And then you, what you do is you pull this up. And it, you have a little scene in the back of it. So that's kind of neat. I saw I saw somebody do these, and I just thought they were really cool. I, I really loved it. I think it's on Pinterest. I think that's where I found it. So anyway, not my idea, but still, I loved it, so I put it in here. And then some more werewolves, some more trick-or-treat bag here with some more trick-or-treat goodies. There's a witch. I think that's all I put in there, but I can... Let me add some more there. I'm sure I've got more stuff. How about some tickets? Let's put some tickets in there, just so I have a little bit more stuff in there. Let's just put that on there, and then there's the other side of Peter and the Wolf. And this is a potion order form, and you can get Cat Whiskers, I Have Newt, Fairy Dust, Mountain Toastal, Raven, Talon, Snake Scale, Swamp Bubbles, Tongue of Dragon, Water Frog. It's, you know, it's to go, of course. So uh, get your Dunkin' Coffee and, you know, order you some potion. And then this is, <clears throat> I think I've got it put in here with a little piece of, it's a piece of uh, tassel or something on the back of that. But you open this up and this has little bits of colored paper for you to write on. Just a little pocket here to put that in. Open her up and I've just added some, um, just some collage. Here's a Wicked Witch. I guess she's going to get somebody in the... <laughs> Potion booster here. Here is a just a piece of uh, card that you can write on with a witch on the bottom. You open this up, and here's some more paper in here that you can write on. And then on the back is a little tiny, tiny girl witch with some arsenic poisoning. Always nice to have on hand, and some little uh, Halloween washi tape. So put that in there. And you can take out these these pieces. That's why I didn't like glue them in. You can take these out if you want and uh, take some of the bulk out of the journal. So there's Mr. Werewolf. I guess he's changing. And here's the monster just waiting. And then some more paper. This is brilliant paper. The last of the vellum. Here is the other side of that spooky um, paper doll. And this is, um, you can take these out, but they have magnets on the back, it's just little paper dolls. And what I did was, I added another paper doll on the back that also has a magnet. So they, they hold each other in the book, see? So that you can, uh, you can leave them there or put them on your fridge for your next potion, you know, if you need to make a grocery list for your next cauldron party. Hey, there you go, got a magnet put up there. This is um, this is also one of those magic cards, and you pull this up, and then you have ghosts and stars and all kind of stuff. And I think that's a I think there's a bugs on the back, in that background. It's kind of cool. So that sparkly's in there. So, and then of course you can write on the back. It's also a journaling card and a tag that you can write on. 
cuts in there. And then I put that in with uh, just an embellished paper clip. So again, you can take those out if you want. You certainly can. And then here is uh, another piece of stamped fabric. And you can write underneath there if you want. And uh, this is a belly band with some more paper. And I really like this paper because it's kind of a velvety texture. And you can get like a white gel pen and make little notes. I think that's kind of cool. But I like that velvety kind of texture. It's kind of neat. And then this is the Frankenstein part. So you have skull washi tape. You have uh, different kinds of Frankenstein paper. And look! Oh, look who came to see us! Oh my, yes! They are paper dolls. Paper dolls. Madame and Monsieur Frankenstein. And I know that's a doctor's name. It's not that actual monster's name. But we're going to... We're going to call them that. And then I've also got little, um, some more little paper dolls that you can cut out on the back here. I'll try to show you those to you. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> There's the cat one. There's a cat one. Yay! Halloween cats and all that. And then this is a piece of um, embossed vellum. And there's some spooky dolls and uh, just a bit of collage back there. Needless to say, I put a lot of work into this. Um, it, took me a, it took me a while to get everything done that I wanted to do, but I had a good time doing it, let me tell you. This is where the wild things are. There's Max and uh, Dr. Frankenstein. Some of these are from a kit, but uh, some of these are papers that I designed, and um, this is one that I designed. It's in my Etsy store if you're I don't know. If you're bored and you want to go look, it's in there. Um, I think I did that one too. And that one. Uh, this is uh, the history of the pumpkin. I thought that would make a nice little journal in spot. So you can write in there. And here is a couple pockets. Here is autopsy level card and a gremlin card. You can write on the back of that. And then this doesn't come out. It's just some, um, this is a little ghost toothpick with a little spider on. I thought he was cute. So I glued him in there. And this is some pumpkin trim that I added. And these are two, actually two journaling spots here. I mean, not journaling spots, two pockets here. So, and then there's some bird, um, bird, raven washi tape on the side. And here's some some more washi tape with the sun, moon, and stars. And then you have some uh, cruel poems here. It's, they're kind of funny. And then I don't know if you remember the Francis books, but um, I do from being a kid. And this is one where Francis is afraid of what's outside her window. Her mother's tearing, telling her that it's a moth, but we both know it's not a moth. Run, Francis, run. Okay, and... Some more paper that I designed. Bride of Frankenstein. I don't know if you can see her. She's back there lurking. So, there's a bloody handprint. I did not do that one. That's a, a printable somebody else did. Um, some more washi tape with spiders. Here's another gremlin card. I just have that put in here with them. Um, it's a, just a journaling card. And I put it in with an embellished paper clip. This piece of lace, I think, is all that's on there. And here's another glow-in-the-dark paper to scare you. <laughs> I think I designed that one. Um, the other side of the Francis book, and I guess she decided that she could finally go to sleep. And let's see. Lots of, lots of places to write. I love that page. I had, I had a good time making that one. That was fun. And then um, there's this bride. And then there's Max's bed. Let me get through these. Just some more um, papers. And then we come to the end, and here is a little ghost button. And here's another um, place that you can store things. A couple of tags. 
these have like a, I don't know if you can see, a little skull there. I love that black wax. Here's a, a little uh, dried flower with another skull tag. And then I also made this, and this is a journaling card. And I use that same ghost um, paper. And the reason why is because when you open it up, if I can get it to work, you open it up, you have a little ghost pop-up. So you have a ghost rattling his chain. You have a hand reaching out from the grave. Some tombstones back here. I think I squashed the tombstone. And then you have a um, black cat and a pumpkin. So there you go. Just, and you can, of course, write anywhere on there that you want. Let's see if I can do it without swishing them this time. And that goes in the back. So that's in the two tags. So there she is. There she is. I am through. I am not adding anything else to it. <laughs> And I hope that this video will upload without any problems. Um, and I hope that you um, will enjoy looking through it. I really had a good time making it. And I hope whoever gets this journal will enjoy it. Because um, it's made with love. Trust me, a lot, a lot of love. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a very happy Halloween in July. And uh, I look forward to talking to you again. And I'll try to upload more videos soon. But I appreciate you as always, and uh, have a great week, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!